بتحية الإسلام الخالدة فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته وحيا أيضا بذلك أولياء الأمور وجميع المشاهدين من خلف الشاشة ونتمنى اليوم أن يكون هذا الدرس مفيدا جدا للجميع بإذن الله تعالى نذهب إلى اللغة الإنجليزية I'd like to welcome all of you uh, students, my dear students, uh, dear viewers, and all those people who are uh, having these great moments with me behind the screen. Uh, just before we start our lesson, I'd like to remind you, remind you about uh, the last lesson that was done by Mr. Ismail Shiadi. He talked about a very important uh, lesson, and hopefully that every one of you guys really, really know it, or at least know something about it, which was about... Yes, it's about it was about present perfect, and also he gave you some kind of summary about past simple tense. Uh, of course, those two lessons or these are you remember the lesson that uh, was I was oh, sorry I was or oh, that was done by me uh, two weeks ago was about past simple and so many uh, things related to it. And then uh, I've taught you guys how to form questions. Of course, you're going to do the same with the, so many other grammar rules. Of course. And then last week, Mr. Smile shared, he taught you something about past symbol again. And then he moved a little bit into present uh, perfect. And then he taught you uh, very great knowledge about it. And he taught you how to use it, when we have to use it, and what is the form of it. And what are the key words that you have to really understand, like just already, uh, ever, since, for, never, and all of those. And also yet, of course, yes, thank you. Uh, all of those words like keywords where you have to write for example if you've got like a sentence and you want to fill it with the correct form sometimes those keywords are a part of the sentence you have to really uh, look for them and once you have them then you you know that the form is going to be about present perfect right so in order not to complicate yourself uh, my students we've decided to break the ice a little bit talking about something different because I know that your students have got some kind of troubles dealing with the grammar rules. So today we've decided to give you something related to reading and also writing. Hopefully this lesson is going to meet your expectations and satisfaction. Right, so I think it's better for us to start uh, our lesson. Let's go straight forward to the slides. Right, so in, in uh, our today's lesson is going to be about reading and writing. It's going to be about reading and writing. And of course, I'm not going to give you like the previous reading tasks and or lessons. Uh, today, I have got a variety of something that, uh, let's say, I'm just trying my best here to make you in feel like entertained by uh, some good stuff that I brought from home. Right. So do you think that our lesson is going to be very, very uh, attractive or uh, very good for you guys? Mm -hmm. I've got a bunch of students here in the front of me and they are just, yes, waving their heads. Yes, we're going to have some th fun because they can see something good in the front of them. I'm going to show it to you later. Uh, so let's start our lesson going straight forward to the second slide. Right. So in this uh, slide, you've got this big title in front of you, The Money Museum. I know that you guys, you're going to tell me, well, I feel like this task is a little bit boring because it doesn't contain any kind of old stuff. Well, sorry to say the opposite today. You're going to be very surprised because I've got so many things to show you. Right. So, but before I, s I show you those kind of stuff in front of me in, 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 on this desk, I'm going to teach you something regarding this lovely sheet in front of you, the money museum, the money museum, right. Uh, let's go to the second, oh sorry, the left uh, side of this uh, sheet, you've got the Omani collection, right, the Omani collection, have a look at it, Omani collection, right. What do you think that, that th this task or this whatsoever text is talking about, who can tell me? Mm -hmm. Yes, about Omani money, correct. Are we talking about banknotes or are we to coins, correct, exactly. So we're going to talk about coins and banknotes. Um, if you just open your class book, I don't know which page, but you can just find it in unit three. It's very simple to find it. Have a look at this coin. This, we call it coin. This is 
yes, a coin, and the, there is another coin at the end or at the bottom of the task or this uh, page, this slide. All of those coins are taken from our history, our Oman, Omani history, and of course, it's very uh, valuable and very important that all of you people should really know something about your um, history. Very good. Right, so in order to make the lesson is very, you know, make the lesson very attractive and lovely, I'd like to show you so many good stuff today in front of you. So I have got real, real collection of coins. Those, all of those coins, as you can see in front of me, they are real coins, but they are preserved well. For example, if you have a look, I don't know whether you can just have a look at this coin. It's from like... Uh, 50 years ago, 50 years ago. Uh, let's talk about another coin that is a little bit bigger. Uh, for example, this coin, have a look. It's a half real. It's a half real, and it's from 1381. 1381. It's like uh, more than 60 years old. This coin is 60 years old. Can you imagine? Do you like them? Wanna, yeah, have a look. Very nice. Okay. Once you're done, just um, yeah, bring them back, please. Right, and this, we're done, yeah? If you want to have a look at it, please come forward. Right, have a look to this coin. Have a look to this coin, guys. This one is taken from um, uh, 1315. Imagine, we are now like, um, uh, let's say, a hundred years ago. Can you imagine? Um, it's written here, Muscat, right? And uh, Faisal bin Turkey, Sultan Faisal bin Turkey. It's a very old coin, very precious. I cannot give it to you guys. Right. And also this one, have a look at it. This is another coin that I'd like to share you guys t today. Um, this is from Saeed bin Taymor, uh, 1359. 1359. Mostly like, uh, let's say, uh, 40, you've got 80 years old. This coin is 80 years old. Can you imagine? You can just have a look. Uh, you can have your cell phones too. And you can grab some pictures if you like at the end of this lesson. Are we cool? Interested? Very good. Right. Never forget the bank notes I'd like to show you today, guys. Have a look at those bank notes or many ones. Right. For example... Have a look to this one. Yes, it is, how much is it? Five Omani real, but they are very old. Yes, have a look. Amazing. Yes, you want to have some footers? Okay, they are real money. They are real money. And I'd like also to show you some other back notes, guys. Have a look at this one. Right, yes, one Omani real. And then, yes, very good. Have a look. Now, I don't know whether the, the, the year is written in these banknotes, but they are very unique and very special and very valuable, precious at the same time. You cannot find them anywhere. Right, and also have a look at this one. Our fathers and mothers, including our brothers and sisters in grade nine, have a look at this one. For example, Real Ashra ten real or Ashra Ya Saidi and then you've got this Ashra Triat Omaniya and then Ashra Rialat. Have a look at those. Very old ones. I think your grandfathers and mothers really know about this one, of course. Very good. Let's move to some. Very good, yes. Have no worries. I'm going to um yeah, I'm going to distribute those to you guys and I'd like you to have a look at them, but never Take those banknotes from the cupboard, please. Okay, guys. Right, uh, let me show you something else. Yes. I remember those banknotes when I was like uh, five years old myself, Mr. Abdullah. Have a look. Rabbi Ariyal Saidi. Well, this one, I don't know uh, that much about it because our grandfathers and mothers really know something about this banknote. You've got this one, for example. I really know it. And you've got also this one. Very good. Right. And uh, then, yes, um, those people who are in my age also really know those banknotes, uh, the, these two banknotes. You've got, for example, this is 100 Besa, guys. Have a look. 
students, yes? First time, first time all of you? Have a look, yeah, I'm going to show you all of those banknotes later, have no worries. So have a look, this one, one had a paisa. You know, what about this one? Yes, it is, very old ones. But still, I know that some of you people really have them. Um, coins you want to say? Yes, have a look at this one, please. Yes, zoom this one. Okay, it's not that much. Uh, okay, very good. So you can just focus. This is a half real, as I've told you before, and uh, 1381. Uh, 1381, half a real. Very good. I think your grandfathers and mothers also really know those. Uh, never forget our brothers from the Arab Gulf countries. So have a look to our brothers or neighbors, Saudi Arabia. So all of those are a very great collection of banknotes and coins for Saudi Arabia. Very old ones. Have a look at them. I think also your grandfathers and mothers can tell you something about those banknotes. Right? And never forget also your brothers and sisters, our neighbor from Bahrain. Yes, have a look at those uh, banknotes in front of you. They are from, yes, Bahrain bank notes. Yeah, you like them, okay? You can have some pictures later on. Very good. So, uh, did you find it very lovely uh, task? So, I don't want to go through the lesson, or sorry, the, the money museum, this task, because we, ha we have already known something that is very commendable, something very valuable, unspeakable way of describing all of those bank notes and coins. Um, yes, later on I'm going to, yeah, you can, yes, you can use cell phones to grab some pictures, have no worries. Okay, good, very good. Right, um, in the bus, let's say, uh, let's have a look again to this uh, form, please. Let's have a look. So I'm going to use the red color. Yes, so, for example, different kinds of money, different kinds of what? Of money. Right, in the past, 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 we don't know anything about it for so many years in the past, for so many centuries. Uh, yes, people use copper axes. Yes, people use copper axes, you know, to, to, you know, to replace or exchange um, uh, money. For example, if they want to buy something, they use copper axes. And, of course, you can just uh, notice the copper axe from here very simple and then you've got uh, shells also shells yes it is you've got some shells and also tea can't you imagine that they have used or sorry they used uh, tea in order to you know spend like a money do you know we've got banknotes yes we've got coins right we've got banknotes but in the past or for so many centuries they used salt they use tea in order to, to, you know, buy something or sell something, right? Salt also in the front of you. And then, can't you imagine this one? Who can read it from me? Huh? Behind the screen, who can read this from me? Dog's teeth. Can't you imagine? We've got so many dogs here nowadays. Do we use dog's teeth in order to buy something from a shop, supermarket, grand mall? Yes, correct. So, it's funny, yeah? But those people, we should really, you know, show them respect because in the past they find they, they found this very valuable, very precious for them, you know, very difficult to find those dog teeth in order to buy something or sell something in the supermarket or whatsoever. Local silk, of course, traditional one. They don't have uh, shops or supermarkets, right? So all of those uh, kind of stuff in the front of you. There are different kinds of money, different kinds of money. Nowadays, we've got Durham, for example, we've got uh, Rail, and um, also, never forget, we've got Euro, for example, we've got uh, Salini, we've got uh, Bound, and uh, Tola, of course. Right. Very good. Did you like this task? Thank you, thank you. My honor. Right. So, in front of you, I know that you guys will... Tell me straightforward that this uh, page is not that much clear, right? Well, this page, as you can see, I've written the page of this, right? It is taken from your class book, page 24, 24, right? You can just open your class book, page 24. As you can see, different kinds of money, different kinds of money, but they are all real, 
I mean, uh, nowadays, recently, we've got, for example, this 10 real, you've got bound, not very old ones like those I've shown you earlier. Okay, so my, my, my goal is not to teach you guys something about uh, this page. My goal is to take the most important vocabulary items that you have to really know this semester. So from this page, page uh, 24, you've got these words written in black, uh, sorry, red color in page uh, 24. Can you check it out? Yes, group A, B, and C. Find it? Very good. Right. Uh, okay, show it to your friend, please. Yeah, show the page to that group. Very good. Yes. Okay, very nice. Right. So, who can read all of those words for me? Or let's say one by one. Uh, prepare yourself, you guys behind the screen, for, you know, reading uh, the words. So, let's say for uh, group number one, A. What is this word? Course. Is it course? What do you say, guys, uh, group B? Is it course? Course. And you? Chores. Excellent. Yes, chores. Very good. It's not course. It's chores. Excellent. Give them a clap. Give them a clap. Very good. Excellent. Right. It's chores. Very good. And it's a noun. It's a noun. Chores. And then what about uh, two? Huh? Behind the screen. Your turn. Tell me. Control. Very simple. Yeah, this one is control. Very simple. Very good. And it can be a noun or a verb. You can use it as a noun or you can use it as a verb. Uh, of course, have no worries. I'm going to ex explain those words together. And we're going to play some games too, right? In order to make those words stuck in your minds for sure. Right, and then you've got this word spend. Huh? Spend. Very good. Is it spend? What do you say, group C? Yes, it is. Spend. Yeah, say it. Drill after me. Spend. Spend. Very good. Right. And also, it's a verb. It's a verb. And then moving to uh, word number five. Yeah, yeah. Don't be a hurry. Just wait. Number four. Uh, yes, tell me. Group A. Huh? Rubbed. Very good. What do you say, group B? Is it correct? Yes. Group C. Very good. What about you guys behind the screen? Tell me. Correct? Very good. It's rubbed. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. And what is it? It's adjective. Very good. Right. Let's go to number five. Huh? Who can read it for me? Treat. Very nice. Treat all of you. Thank you. And of course, those uh, behind the screen really agree. Yes. Tree. So treat, sorry, treat can be noun and can be verb. Both are correct. You can say noun or a verb. Yes. Depending on the, the sentence. For example, if you've got the sentence, sometimes we use those words as a verb, and sometimes we use them as a noun. But not all words, not all English words can be used as verbs and nouns, yeah? Be careful. You have to, you have to really read something about them before you start using them, right? And then the last one is very simple for all of you, but I have to really, you know, uh, teach it to, to you. Yes, who can read it? No, no, give them, that, give them a chance, please. Yes, tell me, behind the screen, huh? Problem, is it problem or p or b? Huh, what do you say, guys? B or p? P, very good. When we pronounce this word, we don't say problem, no. We say prob, prob, all of you, say it. Prob, prob, excellent, again, prob, yes. P, p, the A comes out of your mouth, p, problem. Excellent, very good. And what is it? Noun, very good. Right. So again, chores, control, spend, rubbed, trade, problem. Again, chores, control, spend, rubbed, treat, problem. Very good, very good. Right. Now let's go to this slide and talk about them a little bit. You've got all of those written words again. Who can read them for me again? Yes, behind the screen. Uh, who's gonna? Yes, Wudima, tell me. The first one is what? Control. Excellent. Give her a clap. Very good. All right. What about the second one? Let's say uh, Mitrif. Yes, tell me. Chores. Well done. Give him a clap. Excellent. Yeah, your turn, guys. The third one is huh? Group B. 
Yes, treat. Very good. Group A. Tell me. Problem. Very good. Problem. Excellent. And the yes, group C. Spend. Very good. Spend. Excellent. The last one is going to, to be for uh, yes, Hamda. Yes, Hamda. Tell me. Rubbed. Excellent. Very good. Now let's explain these uh, words together. I know that you know some of those words, but let's focus on some. Control. Have a look at this picture. Yes. Self control. When I say, for example, someone is very crazy and he's about to lose his temper, he was about to shout or slap his friend. He, want to, he wants to slap his friend because his friend has done something bad to him, right? So he, he, he's about to slap him and then you, you stand in front of him. Control yourself, hold your horses, calm down, right? So when I say control, it means what? Yes, control yourself. Excellent. Thank you. Right. And also we, we use this word in order to something. Yeah, something that we use every day. Very good. Remote control. Yeah. We use to take our robot, our remote control in our hands all the time once we move from a channel to another. Am I right? Very good, yes, right, control. And then chores, maybe this one or this word is, is new for you guys. So I'm going to explain it. Have a look at this picture. What is this kid doing? Huh? This one, yes, tell me. What is he doing? Hmm? What is he doing? Yes, he's what? Washing the dishes, excellent. So this is washing or this picture is talking about this boy who's washing the dishes. Very nice. Okay, I don't have another picture. Right. So when I say washing the dishes, is it something that you do at home or is it something that you do outside? Huh? Yes, have a look. It is in the kitchen. Yes, it is. Excellent. Thank you. It's in the kitchen. Very good. And he's cleaning the dishes. So what do you think chores mean in Arabic? Huh? Or in English, let's say first. Huh? Who can tell me? But yes, very good. Nasser's house, excellent. Yes, it is. Yes, something or a job that you do uh -huh. at home regularly. Excellent. Okay, is it is it uh, entertaining job or is it boring? Boring, exactly. Very good. Yes, it's boring. How many of you guys, you, you, yeah, I'm talking to you groups, A and B and C, tell me. How many of you guys really enjoy washing the dishes, huh? Tell me. Uh -huh, group A, tell me, please. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Waving their, their, their heads, no. They, nobody likes washing the dishes. Why? Because something that you do every day. I'm going to do, myself, I do it, to be honest, yes? And it's not uh, mundane, it's not, it's not boring, it's something that is good. Yes, help your mama. Do you want to help your mama? Right, so you have to do it. Am I right? So cleaning the dishes or washing the dishes is one of the jobs that some of you guys feel, you know, boring doing them. So we call them chores. We call them chores. Imagine that your father, for example, asks you to go outside and do some kind of gardening. Right, and you've been doing this gardening for a long time, let's say for, for seven years, and you are about to feel like you're fit of doing those kind of uh, activities again. You want to do something that is more uh, entertainable, something that is more uh, active, lovely, something that you feel like, uh, wow, I like doing this again and again and again, right? But imagine yourself, your father asks you to do that gardening, and you've been doing this for so many years in the past, Right? Are you going to do it, uh, you know, like act in, in a very active way? Yes, exactly. You will not do it in a very active way. You will do it because your father asks you to do it. But in the deep of your heart, you don't want to do it. Am I right? So this is what we call course. A'mal manziliya, something that you do at home and it's boring a little bit. Right. Let's go to the third one very quickly. Treat. I think this word is very simple for so many of you guys. Have a look at this picture, for example. This guy, what is he doing? Yes, he's a doctor. Excellent. He's a doctor. Very good. And what is he doing? He's, huh? He's what? He's treating. Excellent, group C. Yes, he's treating this patient. This patient is sick, right? And this, calm, this doctor comes along 
and start treating this patient. So treat, huh? You alik, excellent, very good. You alik, treat, very nice. And then let's move to this one. Yes, this one is very simple, huh? Excellent. Who can give me? Yes, mushkila. Okay, okay, correct. Mushkila. Okay, very nice. Who can tell me the synonyms? Some synonyms of this word. Huh? Problem. Instead of saying problem, we can say dilemma. Excellent dilemma. Good. Very good. Group C. And what else? From behind the screen, who can tell me? Huh? Problem. Very good. Excellent job. Yes. Obstacle. Very good. Right. Anything else? Difficulty. Very nice. All of those synonyms, you can use them instead of using problem. Very good. Right. And then, uh, yes, we have spend. Okay. This one is very simple. Yeah. What, what do we have here? What kind of pictures do we have? Money. So what do we use money for? Excellent group C. Again, yes, shopping. So today, for example, today is what? Thursday. So today's night you're planning to, to, to go to uh, uh, Grand Mall, for example, and buy something for yourself, right? So you have to have your money. So once you buy that thing, what have you done? Who can tell me? Behind the screen, your turn. Spend. Excellent. Very good. Spend. You have spent that money, right? So spend. Ahsant, yes, yasraf, mablagun ma. Oh, can we use it uh, for something else? Excellent group B, very good, right? We can use it when I say, can you give me one example to, you know, make it crystal clear to the audience? Where have you, where did you spend your summer holiday last year? Have, yes, listen to this group. This is something very important about spend. Where did you spend your summer holiday last year? Who can give me one answer from you guys behind the screen? Aywa, I went to Salala. Very nice. Excellent. Good. So spend, معناها أيضا. Excellent. يقضي عطلة ما في مكان ما. Right. The last one maybe it's uh, also new for you guys. Rubbed. Very good. Have a look at this picture in front of you. Huh. What is it? Gift. Excellent. What, what is, you know, what is so special about this gift? How is it managed? How is it organized? Yes, robe, yeah, very nice. You've got this robe and something else. Uh-huh, books in a small box, have a look. Very good. So what did the person who made those gifts, what did he do? Robbed, excellent. He robbed those gifts. He robbed them. So those gifts are what? Robbed, yes, covered. They are covered. Yes, Malhan. Very good. Yes, it is. Thank you. Robbed, covered with paper or something else. Robbed, yes. To have, for example, have a look at those, uh, had, at those banknotes, for example. So if you have a look at those banknotes, guys, look, we use what? Very good. Yes, we robbed them. Use, use this plastic in order to make them what? To make, to preserve them, to protect them from being destroyed or vanished or whatsoever the, the, the cause is, right? Okay. Right, so in order to understand those uh, words, I have got this, this task from your skills book. I don't want to go, th I don't want you guys to open your skills book. I'd like you to focus on the board, please. Right on the screen, sorry. So you've got this one to do less or something or limit, huh? You want to, uh, to work as a group? Very good, work as a group. Huh? You've got only one minute to answer this task. What is your job? Who can tell me? What is your job? Group, group A, tell me. What is your Yes, your job is to use the vocabulary, excellent, use the vocabulary items that you have learned. Uh, uh, yeah, and fill, very good, fill those boxes with the accurate one. Very good. Yes, do it. You've got one minute. Mm -hmm. Finish. Can you change your ideas and answers? Mm -hmm. Very good. All of you have got the same answers. Excellent. Let's check your work. Also behind the screen, check your work. Right. To do less of something or limit what you do. Very good. Excellent group A. Yes, it is. Control. Very nice. Sorry, my handwriting is not that much good, but we can read it, yeah? Right. When something is still, Huh? When something is 
اوكي وان سمثينج از ستيل كافرد ان ذا بيبر او بلاستيك ها قبل شوي تكلمنا رايت وات از رابد اكسلنت ثانك يو سو ماتش يو روبي يس ات از رابد فيري جود از ات كلير ثانك يو اند ذن موفينج تو ذا ثيرد وان بورينج ورك See, boring work. You don't like them much, but you have to do it because someone asks you to do so, right? So boring work that usually has to be done. Huh? Do you remember the examples of gardening and, and, uh, and uh, cleaning the dishes or washing the dishes? Yes, it is group C. Huh? All of you agree behind the screen? He said, course, yes. Is it course? Chores, excellent, yes, it is. So he said chores, is it correct? Very good, proud of you, all of you. Chores, yes, I'm very proud of you guys. Right, then number four to use money to buy something. Very simple, yeah? Do you remember the, 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 the example of going to the Grand Mall, for example, and you want to buy something? So you're going to spend. Excellent, group A. Yes, it is. Right, and number five, who can? Yeah, group B, I'll give you this, uh, this one. Uh, five, to use medicine to help cure an illness. Huh? Do you remember the, the, the example of the doctor just... Uh, blah, blah. The, the, yes, it is a treat. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. And what about the last one? Behind the screen, have you formed a group for yourself? Something that causes difficulty or trouble? Huh? Problem, excellent, problem, very good. I'm going to write this one, problem. Am I done with those words? No, sorry guys, I'm not done. You have to really understand them and stick those words into your minds. Never forget those words, all right? You're about to have your class test one, am I right? And uh, some of you guys have already had it. Right, so let's go to this yes game in order to check your understanding. So let's say this one first. Just give me a few seconds. Of, okay, very good. And uh, let's uh, let's start it. Yes. Now is it crystal clear for everyone? Very good. Right. Yalla, Ashuf. To order, limit, or rule something, someone's actions or behavior. What word is it? Control, rub, problem, spend, ch yes, chore, very good. Treat, huh? Is it control? Very good, excellent. Very good, great job, yes it is. Excellent, let's go to two. Yalla shuf, yalla shabab. A job that is often boring, boring, like gardening. Do you remember gardening? Cleaning the dishes, huh? A job that is often boring, but needs to be done regularly. Huh, behind the screen, very good. It's score, excellent, sorry, chore, excellent. Very nice. Moving to, is it question number four? No, question number three. To give money, huh? you go to Grand Mall, you want to buy something. To give money, to use time doing something or being somewhere. Excellent, group C, yes it is, spend. Let's go to four. Something that causes difficulty or that is hard to deal with. Huh, group B. Ha, tell me, something that causes difficulty. Do you remember? We said difficulty, dilemma, obstacle. Ha, all of those words are synonyms for the word problem. Exactly, you'll be. Excellent. Going to number five. Do you like it? Yes. Okay. To cure a person or a disease. Ha, to cure a person or a disease or heal an injury. Behind the scene, guys, tell me, is it control? Do you remember the doctor and the patient? What happened in the treat? Excellent, great job, all of you. Very nice. I love you guys, all of you. Covered with paper or other material. Covered. Do you remember the bank notes? Again, you don't have to. Okay, bank notes, yes. They are what? Covered. What do we call this? Robbed, exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very great. I love it. Right. Uh, have we finished, uh, teacher, uh, about... No, 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 not yet. You're going to play another game. Just uh, stay with me. Pay, be patient. Right. Yeah, and now your turn. You're going to choose the box yourself. Okay. Yes, which box do you want to choose? Huh, one? Okay, let's open one. 
She and lots of money on clothes. Is it chores, ban streets, problem, robbed controls? You have to be, be uh, very careful now, yeah? Behind the screen, all of you. And you guys, group A and B, C. Huh? So she what spins exactly. Excellent. Let's move to the second. Huh? Which box do you want me to open? Number six? Okay, mm -hmm. number six. Western medicine tends to... The symptoms and not the cause. Huh? Behind the street, exactly. I'll give you a clap myself. Excellent. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. And then uh, choose. Uh, yes, Yurube, tell me. Three. Okay, let's go to three. He has very serious health. Health what? Health. Is it chore or spin treat problem? Wrapped control. Huh? Excellent problem, very good, yes. Serious health problem. Right, choose a box, huh? Behind the screen, choose a box. Give them a chance. Yes, let's say five, okay, five, number five. Tell me, the government is trying to spending. Huh, the government is trying to spending. Huh? Control, exactly, to control spending. Excellent, very good. Choose a box, uh, group, have, just wait, wait, huh, group A, yes, two, okay, mm -hmm. two, let's go to two, the baby was in a blanket, in what, in a rubbed blanket, excellent, you've got that uh, baby, for example, your, your little sister, little brother, yeah, baby, so your mother is what, is, yeah, rubbed him with a blanket, why, because in order not to feel cold, especially in winter season, Nowadays, right? Uh, the last one, yes, behind the screen, your turn. You're going to answer this question yourself. I will go shopping when I finish doing my around the house. My what? Chores, exactly. Give them a clap. Very good, great participants. Thank you so much. Right, this is the end of this. Are you fed up with those activities? Do you know them all? Have you got any kind of questions behind the screen? Any kind of questions regarding those words? Right, thank you. Keep them in your mind, please, okay? Right, now let's talk about writing. This is very important. These are very important slides that you have to really be careful, okay? Have a look at this one. This is in the front of you. Okay, so this is like a, tell me, email, exactly. What kind of emails? Letter, very good. So emails, letter, okay, very nice. Email and letter. Is it formal letter or, um, or are you, have you, have you written or did you, is it, is it, this email, is it for your friend or is it formal? Excellent, it's, it's formal. How did you know? Tell me, yes, group A, tell me. How did you know that this formal? Very good. Teacher, there is something in the right side of this uh, slide. This, you know, we don't have to, to write those things down when we talk, uh, sorry, when we write an email or letter to a friend of ours. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. And what else? Very nice. Yes. The left side. Yes. Very good. What else? Tell me, group B. Yeah, very good. Do we write this, uh, this uh, madame? Uh, when you are, when you're writing something, when you're writing something to your friend, do we say, for example, instead of saying, dear uh, Widima, we say, dear madam, although you know that person, do we do that? Do, do we do that? Yes, we don't, right? So, dear said, madam, this is like a formal letter, excellent. And then you've got this paragraph, and also this paragraph, and also the third one, and also the fourth one, and then you've got something here something very important. So again, when you write a formal letter, you have to really focus on the numbers that I'm going to write down in front of you. So I'm going to choose another color. This is one, right? You have to be very careful once you write something. Letter of complaint, yes it is. Letter of complaint, we call it, exactly. So in order to write a letter of complaint, you have to really make sure that you follow those steps. The first step is that number one. I'm going to explain it to you later, okay? Just, just be patient. And this is number two, very important. Now have a look. This is in the right side. 
This is in the left side. Very good. And then we've got this one, number three. Salute. Salutation. You know, welcoming. Welcoming the person whom you're talking, sorry, whom you're writing the letter of complaint to, the formal letter of complaint to. So this is number three. And then you've got this one, uh, paragraph one. Exactly. What about this one? Paragraph uh, two. Very good. What about the, th yes it is, paragraph three. Exactly. And what about this one? Again, behind, oh, I've heard something behind the screen. Tell me. Yes, exactly. It's paragraph four. Oh, teacher, so many paragraphs. But have no worries. I'm going to explain it very carefully and very simple. You will like it at the end. Right? And even you can just write some letter of complaint to Mr. Ismail and I later on. Okay? So you've got yours. Yes, it is. This is what we call it, all of you. Signature. Yes, you can signature. Right? And okay very good signature and date or you can just add have a look for example here's yours faithfully this is the ending of the formal letter ismail ashiadi sorry to you know for bringing your name uh, up today and then his phone number of course this is not real huh not real okay so let's talk about this yes have a look at this one so initial stage, when you write a letter of complaint, you have to write the sender's name and address here. Sender's name and address. And address. For example, have a look. Muscat Governorate. Al Khud. So I'm writing, I'm writing a formal letter of complaint. For example, I bought, let's say, let's say, focus with me, okay? I bought a bike from uh, Instagram, right? And that bike didn't meet my expectations. Like, for example, the steering is not there, right? Or let's say uh, some parts of the bike are missing. See the point? So you want to take this bike, send it back where you bought it, and give it, the, give it to them. Of course, you are going to ask them to replace it by another bike or... <coughs> or what? Replace it by another bike or get refund, get your money back, right? So let's, yes, focus on this one, bike. So I am sending, or you are sending, let's say who's sending this, Ismail, uh, yes? Ismail Shiadi is the one who wrote this letter, formal letter of complaint. So, yes, he's going to write his, what, his address, sender's name and address. Ismail address, Mr. Ismail address. He's going to write, for example, this is an example. Muscat Yabarnurit, <coughs> then Al Khud town, then Al Khud village, village, sorry, I don't know. So then the date, have a look. The date, the 1st December 2020. So Mr. Ismail, he wants to send this formal letter of complaint to that shop where he bought that bike. That, un, that useless bike that doesn't work, right? So he wants to get either replace replacement or get refund, okay? So he's going to write his information in this side, the right side. What about the left side of the formal letter? What? Yes, it is the receiver's name, Mr. Abdullah. I am the one who uh, sold that broken bike to Mr. Ismail. I'm very sorry to say this. But so Mr. Ismail is going to send me. Send who? Send this letter of complaint to Mr. Abdullah. So receiver's name and address. The manager. Yes. And then cheap and cheerful stores. Right. And then Yankel Town. He bought this bike from Yankel Town. Far away from the capital. And then Falej is their Yin village. Right, it's a village in that yeah. He bought this bike from that shop in that in this village in front of you. Yes, it is very good. So, very good. He's going to write his full information about whatsoever it is very necessary to fill. Muscat Yavanet Al Khod Al Khod whatsoever, and then the date when he bought that bike. In the left, sorry, the right side. In the left side, he's going to write the receivers, re receivers name. Yes. I'm the one who's going to receive his formal letter of complaint. And once he is 
you're done with it, then you're going to welcome that guy. Never bring, never involve your emotions. Yes, for example, Mr. Smile feels very angry. I bought so much money for this bike, and also I've waited for like two months to get it. And then once I got it, it was broken. I mean, question mark, right? But Mr. Smail, he never started shouting. He said, dear sir, or dear madam, right? He doesn't know me. He doesn't know that I'm the one who's going to read his letter. So he said, dear sir, dear madam. So you have to welcome the person whom you're talking, the, whom you're writing the formal letter to. So again, sender's name, receiver's name, yes, welcoming to that person or to that company or to that shop or to that particular uh, friend of yours, right? And once you finish, then you will go straight forward to the body. Right, in the body, listen, I said paragraph one, two, three, four, and five. Do you remember those? Paragraph one, two, three, four. Yes. Now, what you should write in paragraph number one, read the question. What is your complaint about when? These are the two questions that you have to really focus on paragraph number one. After doing the welcoming, then you will, yes, what is your complaint about and when? Never involve anything else. Never involve anything else. So what is your complaint? Mahiya shakwa? And when? Mata? Where? Or sorry, when did you buy that thing? For example, we said a bike, yes? We said a bike, Mr. Ismail and I. Right, so have a look at this one. I'm writing to complain about the... All of you guys can use the same phrase here, the same fragment sentence. I'm writing to complain about the... And then, according to the book that you have in your class book, this one is complaining, or this person is complaining about easy, yes, easy sailor, right? Again, you can change this. For example, Mr. Ismail, let's say bike, okay? And for the rest, yes, you can just copy it down again. You don't, you, you don't have to change anything here. So I'm writing to complain about the bike. I'm writing to complain about the bus I recently bought. Or I am writing to complain about the pencil I bought I recently or that I recently bought from your shop. Or you want to talk about like a watch, okay? For example, I am writing to complain about the watch that I recently bought from your shop and so on. And of course, this is not that much important, see your growth. You can just focus on the date. Do you remember when I said 1st December whatsoever? Yes, March 16th, and. Five, exactly. So what is your complaint about and when? Mahiya shakwa malik bilzabt and mata. That's all in paragraph number one. Yes. Paragraph number two. What you should write in paragraph number two? These two things only. You don't have to think about anything else in paragraph number, number two. Describe the problem. Describe it. Describe what is the problem. For example, I sold... Uh, so I sold a bike to Mr. Ismail Ashiadi last month and was broken, right? I don't know myself, but Mr. Ismail is going to what? To explain the problem from me. Well, dear sir or dear madam, uh, I've bought this bike from you guys last uh, month. And uh, sorry to say this, but so many of the parts of that bike are broken, missing, whatsoever. The color is not perfect. I didn't like its, its color. This is not the color I have asked you guys to, you know, to send me. You know, those kind of things you can talk about. So describe the problem. And then how it has affected you. Well, I have got this racing, uh, bike racing. Yes, so bike racing, you know, and uh, bike racing. And you guys, you didn't, uh, you know, I cannot do it uh, anymore. There is no way to do this bike racing because of you guys, right? So describe the problem and how it has affected you. This is a great example in a friend of you, right? And then going to the paragraph number three. Paragraph number three, you have to really focus only in one thing, only. Tell them what you want them to do. Okay, شو المطلوب منهم? What do you want, Mr. Smail? What does he want from me to do? Does he want me to replace his bike by another bike? 
or does he want me to, to, to send his money back? What do you want exactly from uh, the company you've sent the formal letter of complaint to? Right? And this is example. You can have a look at it. It's written in your class book. And then closing. Do you remember that paragraph number five we said, or paragraph number four we said closing? Yes. I look forward to hearing from you in the near future. All of you guys, you can, all of you, write the same sentence at the end of the formal letter of complaint. At the end, right? You can write it down the same. You don't have to change anything. If you want to play with the words, you can do it. If you are a well educated person and you really want to add something in there, you can do it. But for all of you guys, you can have this sentence and it's very lovely to be honest. I look forward to hearing from you in the near future. Right? And then signature. Signature yours faithfully. If you know the person whom you are talking to, never write yours faithfully. You write yours sincerely. If you know the person whom you have sent the letter of complaint to. مثلا Ismail, Mr. Ismail, he said, Dear Abdullah, Dear Abdullah, فمايك تب yours faithfully. He's going to write yours sincerely. لكن Mr. Ismail ما يعرف إن أنا بستلم الرسالة. فكتب فوق, Dear Sir or Dear Madam. فإيش? Yours faithfully. And then he wrote his name, Ismail Ashiyadi, then his phone number. Brief summary, very quickly, just one minute, not more. Have a look at this one. I have, I have divided this formal letter of complaint in those sections. I'm going to zoom it a little bit. So, in the right, you've got sender's name. In the left, you've got receivers. And then, welcoming the person. And then, paragraph one. What is the complaint about and when? Right? And then paragraph two. Right? Describe the problem and how it has affected you. That's it. And then paragraph number three. You've got tell them what you want them to do. That's it. And then you close your letter of complaint. Closing. By using this sentence. All of you guys can use it. All of you. Whenever you write a formal letter of complaint, you can use it. Okay, if you know the person whom you have sent the letter of complaint to, you write yours sincerely, as I've told you. But if you don't know him, look, dear sir and dear madam, right? You say yours faithfully. And then you can just sign or write your phone number or write your email if you want to. Have you got it? Have you got it, guys? Is it simple? Thank you. Do you want me to explain it a little bit? No? Crystal clear? Very good. So you can just write a letter of complaint as much as you can. Send them to Mr. Ismail or, or I. Uh, and I'm going to help him, of course, uh, just correcting your formal letter of complaints. Uh, really focus on this lesson again. Hopefully that you're going to uh, watch it again and again and again because it's very important. Never miss this chance to learn how to write a letter of complaint, formal one, not informal. That's uh, the end of my lesson for today. Hopefully that you have enjoyed it very well. Hopefully you have enjoyed all the uh, notes, bank notes and the cons I've shown you. And uh, before I start, before I finish this uh, lesson, I'd like to send my regards.